My son Logan has become just a shell of himself. He has absolutely no life skills. Last year, Logan was laid off. He doesn't eat and he doesn't sleep. I was shocked when I saw how thin he was. He looked almost what I would consider anorexic. Logan is six foot three and he only weighs 150 pounds. My pants, they fall down a lot more than they did and I keep going down in size. He sleeps on the couch with his dog by his side because it takes too much effort to go up the stairs to go to bed. Logan has a beautiful home. Unfortunately, he has no motivation to take care of it. Logan's house is covered with dog and cat hair. There were ants. I saw ant traps all over. And everything was just, it was dirty. Two years ago, I went to visit Logan. None of the bathrooms in the home had toilet paper, hand soap, or towels. Logan's pool is a disaster. It is like a green slime pit. Logan put an automatic sliding door in his house so the dog can let himself in and out of the house. Now that's broken to, he has a beautiful French door that is hanging off his hinges. Logan was always lazy, but because he was successful, we didn't realize it. It's even a struggle to get up, go into my office. Logan has a really beautiful 72 Camaro. It was his pride and joy. It broke down and has never been repaired. All of his friendships have fallen away. Logan doesn't brush or wash his hair. It's greasy and clumpy and straggly. I brush my teeth once a week, maybe. I don't like to admit that. Everything Logan wears is wrinkly and covered in dog and cat hair. When I look at these pictures, I think of a much happier young man than I see today. Logan is at a dead end. He believes that he had the American dream, and there's no reason to fight anymore. Dr. Phil always says people come to him as a last resort, not me. He's my first resort. Well, that's refreshing to hear. Uh, Eden says this isn't the first time that her mother has cleaned Logan's entire house and worries her brother has become accustomed to their mother always saving the day whenever he needs help. My mom has enabled Logan his whole life. I really was sort of 50s stay-at-home mom. My kids, they got everything they needed. If Logan tells her that he can't take care of himself, she is on the next plane to his house. When I saw Logan's house and how he was doing, I decided I need to get things in order. Logan grew up in a clean house. My motto was clean enough to be healthy and dirty enough to be happy. And that's what I want for him. Logan's biggest dream would be that he is rich enough to never lift a finger. He would hire cooks, cleaners, people to bathe him, to feed him, to dress him, to clean his home. So he would never have to do any of it. I lined up the maid, the gardener, even lined up a pool guy. And so, yes, I'm guilty. My mom never put her foot down or said enough was enough. My mom wants her children to be a good representation of her. I can't have him living in squalor because he doesn't care. Well, OK, I think this is way past mom enabling, so. Thank you. This has gotten to the point where he can't even tie his own shoes. That's right. So you got him Velcro shoes. I did. That's a little enabling. I got to go with you, Eden, on that <laughs> one. I got to give you that. Uh, but what what do you think's going on here? I don't really know. I almost feel like maybe there's a chemical imbalance or something. I, I'm not a psychiatrist or a doctor, but I'm concerned that there's something mentally not firing properly in his brain. He's highly intelligent, right? Very intelligent. OK, but he's living like a slug. He really is. OK, I mean, he sleeps in the same clothes. He, he, he wears the same clothes for a month at a time. I didn't know that until I heard his interview. But yes, he's, I knew he slept in his clothes and that he does wear his clothes okay. if nobody's coming. Let's think about this for a second. He gets up one day. He puts on socks, underwear, pants, and a shirt and he doesn't change it for a month. Right. OK, who does that? No one. He'll, he'll say to you, well, why do I have to be clean? What's the, what, it's not hurting anybody. I don't smell. There's nobody here to smell me if I did. 
what, why do I, I don't have bugs on me. I literally am per se not somebody who's crawling with itches or anything like that. So he, he will argue the fact, what is the reason? Let's look at his self-care regimen here. He showers uh, one time every week or two. I guess he puts those clothes back on. No. Um, no haircut in three years. Right. Wears the same outfit for weeks, doesn't brush his hair, uh, smokes weed, hasn't been to the dentist since 08. This is 2020, so he hasn't been in 12 years. He's afraid. Brushes his teeth once a week. If that. He goes three days without sleep. He stays up playing video games or whatever. So he's a zombie. He is, he is. But I'm not here to see it, and neither is she. We're both, out. He, she's hours away, and I'm thousands of miles away. Okay, but this is beyond motivation. I mean, this is, oh, yeah. this is where he's not living, he's existing. He doesn't have any pride. He doesn't have any self-worth. He doesn't have any self-esteem. And you said he went from being a really productive computer science guy. I mean, he's smart, got a, got a degree, really excelling, making six figures. Exactly. Um, to just becoming a shell of himself. 18 months, he's just been on the couch. He says he sleeps in his clothes so he can save three steps. Well, Sad. he's not a fireman. What the hell is he saving three steps? What do you mean? <laughs> three Any steps. What is it he's saving steps for? Anything. So he can get to laying on the couch sooner? I know. Uh, his dog looked depressed. <laughs> no, seriously, I looked at his dog. His dog was looking at him like, can we please get off the couch? The dog wants a walk, that's for sure. Well, I told him, you need to take the dog for a walk, not just let it out the back door automatically without getting off the couch to open the door. He's smart enough to know better. He's just not acting on it. Someone you trust, someone you believe, is telling you you can't do it anymore. Yep, that's the big one. That's the big one. That's what he says. Maybe you want to spend another 53 years and six months on the couch. I don't. That's why I'm here. Well, then that's the point. You just answered your own question. You don't want to spend 53 years and six months on that couch. That's the point. I just don't want him to be forced to do something that's totally against himself. If he wants to, I'm happy. I want him to shake it up. The only problem I'm seeing is... I'm doing it because you're, you're telling me that that's the right thing to do. Right. The reality is, you're not doing anything with your hair anyway right now. You're not putting it in pretty ponytails or knots or making style out of it. It's just nope. hanging on your head. You don't wash it. You haven't taken care of it. So to me, it's kind of shedding away just part of you that's not working. Mm -hmm. The thing I worry about is Logan does everything for everybody else, and I'm... He'll cut his hair for somebody else right now. But he's not, no, but hold on, let me stop. He's That's not, he's not showering sure. every day for you. He's not cleaning this place before you arrive. He needs to learn to do it for himself and not others. He'll do anything man, for others. Man, oh man, is this showing me a whole lot of insight right here. Yes, yes. Right here. I bring the best life coach in the country that says, let's rebrand this guy. Let's give him a new look, a new feel. And his mom says, no, 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 no. I, th I think she's just worried that uh -huh. I'm, I'm doing it for you and not for myself. But I'm hoping that the end goal after we're done doing all these steps is I will be able to do things for myself. He said, I'll do anything to be happy. And mom wants to protect him. There's your happy boy. I don't want to protect his happiness. There you I go. want him to do it because he wants to. If, if a haircut is the most challenging obstacle to get over, we're going to have a tough time working yeah. together. I'm happy to have a cut. If, You're happy to have a cut. Yeah, if that's the first step to shaking it up, I say we can do it. Let's do it. And mom, my suggestion is you seriously can pack up and go home and let the professionals take over from here. That's great, that's great. And I know you're willing to do that, right? I am. I'm thrilled and thankful and oh my gosh, this is a dream come true. I, that's my kid. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, it's me and thank you so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, trust me, I wanna hear from you. 
Click on the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on. You just might end up right here on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!